I am a kitty goat. Hello YouTubers, uh, today I am going to show you how to play, well, I'm going to show you a cool thing, it makes you feel like a geek, a successful geek. I'm going to show you how to play music in a terminal. Tomorrow I will show you how to play video in a terminal, but today I'm going to show you how to play music in a terminal. The first thing is, you need a good terminal. And then I'm recording on one side, but don't worry, I can have another terminal. If I can find where I need to go, open new tab. Here we go. And uh, basically, the first thing, you need to install this. And now if you've got all your media plugins, and you're using... 11.10, then you will have this automatically, but if you don't, uh, you don't have that, just to make sure, anyway, to install mpg321, install that, I've already installed that, so, I'll show you, it's a real thing, just enter my password, install that, now I've already installed it, so, it shouldn't, well, it shouldn't consider, I think it shouldn't take long. Sorry about this, it's trying to read packages. Don't take long. Alright, let's talk about uh, what I'm going to do for this video. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, see, I'm already installed. Um, so... The next thing is to play your music with this actual plugin. Very important if you want to play music in the terminal application. Um, first thing is to find out what track you're going to play. Uh, my simple is to check your folder. Usually you would start with LS if you're in a, not in a non Ubuntu operating system. But I would recommend you to go straight into playing CD, capital M, music, to start you off. Mine's a bit further than that, but if your your music selection should be just being music and a selection of all MP3s. If it isn't, then have a quick check to make sure where your music is. I'm going for MP3 downloads. This is for OGG format and MP3 format. I'm going for MP3 download. Oops, I meant to put CD. CD should put now LS. Oh yeah, I need to put in songs as well. So CD songs LS LS is to check the list. Right. It's preferable to do it with no spaces whatsoever. Um, because I don't know why, but there's something about playing with spaces. Um, I'm gonna not gonna play any music um, because unfortunately every single song on here will be form of copyright, so I'm not going to do it. But anyway. The most recommended is something with no spaces at all. So a track with no spaces, no space, no space, no spaces. Because if I did, it won't play. Don't worry. So keep your fingers. So don't say, "Oh no, he's going to do copyright." Oh no, he's going to do it. See, but look, it won't play because a, it's in spaces and it just won't work if it's a space. It's got spaces in the word of whatever I'm playing. It just won't play. So don't worry about that. Um. Because sometimes it will just say no such file or directory. But make sure when you play a song, it is got no spaces and it just works automatically out the box. That's it really. Tomorrow we'll tell you how to show you how to uh, play videos in a terminal. So it will be cool to watch videos. Um, yeah, we'll we'll be up soon. We'll be uploading a, a news feeder. So keep keep your eyes open. Uh, thanks for your time. Uh, have a good day.